vitamins. Seven times five is 35. Seven times six, um, uh, wait a sec, uh, it's, uh... John Thomas, are you ready? For what? For our war. Did you forget? Oh, yeah. I'm having such problems with my memory. I keep trying to memorize this table, but I can't. <laughs> if you want to improve your memory, you need vitamins. Vitamins? Well, how's it going, Tom Thomas? Not well. My memory's just terrible. Studying's getting me nowhere. Hey, don't be discouraged. We'll make your memory better with some vitamins. Oh, now you about vitamins. Uh, and who else? Just a school friend. Well, all right. Vitamins are very important for people's health, even though you don't need much of them. For instance, vitamin A is necessary for good eyesight and normal growth. Vitamin C helps keep you from getting sick. Vitamin D makes your teeth and bones stronger. Usually, people get the vitamins they require from a diet of fruits, dairy, vegetables, and other healthy foods. But if someone still isn't getting the vitamins their body needs, then doctors recommend taking special vitamin pills. All right, take out some vegetables and some fruit. And some berries. They have a lot of vitamins, too. Forget about it. We're strengthening your memory with vitamins. And you'll study the multiplication table at the same time. All right, then. There are three cherries in each pile. Tom Thomas eats five piles. Go on, eat, eat. So, here's the question. How many cherries did Tom Thomas eat all together? I don't know. What'd you say? I said I don't know. Try counting those pits, then. <laughs> huh. Fifteen. That's right. And that means that three times five equals fifteen. Now, try my problem. Tom Thomas ate three pairs of apples. That's easy. The answer's six. I just couldn't find more apples for that one. Tom Thomas quit slacking off. To get this problem right, you have to eat the apples. They have vitamins. Eat anymore. Keep eating. They have vitamins. Anyhow, we don't have enough carrots for me to learn how to multiply by nine. All right, then. I'll help you. <laughs> to multiply two by three, all you need to do is just add three twos together. It's much harder to multiply a number by nine. That takes too much time to add. That's why at schools they want you to memorize the table. But there's a simple way to multiply by nine without the table or a calculator. Let's say you need to multiply the number three by nine. Put your hands face up in front of you. Now, find the third finger from the left and bend it down. So what do we see? There are two fingers to the left of the bent finger and seven fingers to the right. Two and seven means that the answer is 27. You got it? Great! Let's do another problem. What is seven times nine? Here are six fingers and here are three. That's right! The answer is 63. Tom Thomas, did you eat all of that? But you're the one that told me you need to eat vitamins. That's why I got these vitamins for you. That little? What do you mean, little? There's enough in this bottle for a month. Go ahead, try one. They're very good for you. They taste good, too. <laughs> right. Better than an onion. <laughs> or radish. <laughs> Can I have another one? No, that's enough. You shouldn't take more than one vitamin every day. I remember where I saw this. I saw the same kind of bottle with a green lid over at Katya's. Speaking of memory, let's check your multiplication table. Let's say that you and Katya 
are each taking one vitamin a day. So, how many have you eaten after nine days? The answer is 18. <laughs> well done. It's getting better. Vitamins really work. The bird feeder. What? Oh, again! Outside the window! There! Huh, a little bird. He's beautiful! Uh-huh, only he looks sad. Just wait till he sees what I'm gonna do! <laughs> I guess he doesn't think you're funny. That's because he's cold out there. He wants to eat, that's all. Maybe we should make a feeder for the poor bird. Do you know how to make a bird feeder? No, but we both know someone who knows everything. In the winter, it's not easy for birds to find food under the snow. Luckily, many people come to the rescue. They build little houses for the birds, designed to hold food. The name for these houses are naturally bird feeders. Bird feeders can be made out of wood, plastic, or even something as simple as a milk or juice carton. Building a bird feeder by hand isn't hard to do at all. But building it is only one part of the work. What's most important is remembering to keep it filled with food. Well, shall we start? An idea. <laughs> Adisa, I need some of your food for a little bird. You aren't greedy. Greedy, greedy, greedy. I didn't know Adisa is greedy. A geese is greedy. You need to learn how to share. A geese is greedy. What, like there's not enough food? Not enough food, not enough food, not enough food, not enough. Wow, now there's two of them out there. Eat, there's enough food for everybody. Poor a geese, poor a geese. Let's bring them in here. We can open a, a restaurant a for poor birds. little bird. Why did you scare the little birds away? That feeder's for them, get it? Just fly away. Shoo! Uh, 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 uh. He's bullying our friends. Hey, you leave, leave! You'll never chase him away now. We'll see about that. Aha! Serves you right, Pigeon. It's not nice to bully little guys. Yeah, and how about big guys? It's all right to bully them. The poor Pigeon also wants some food. Food! Food! You sure? Sure! Winter can be beautiful, but also very cold. Animals have different ways to prepare for when the weather gets cold. Some birds gather into flocks and migrate to where it's warmer. You could almost say they're flying to a resort. Squirrels, hamsters, and chipmunks collect and store nuts, mushrooms, and pine cones. There are many people who don't have pantries that are as well stocked. Badgers and bears eat a lot of extra food in the fall and then go to sleep in their dens and burrows for the whole winter. Fish also sleep in the winter, only they're at the bottom of rivers and lakes. Frogs, snakes, and even wasps burrow in the ground while hares, foxes, and wolves grow thick coats that protect them from the freezing cold. Although it isn't easy for them to find food. So that will be your feeder, and that new one will be for the little birds. Hey, are you taking their food again? 
there you go. <laughs> but those little birds, they'll probably never come back here. Look, Nolik! <gasps> they came back! Exactly who did it. Huh. Solving a crime's not easy at all. But it looks like a lot of fun. Ugh. I think it would be so cool to go solve a crime. <gasps> Where's my lucky screwdriver? I can't do anything without it. Here we go. This could be the crime of the century. Detective Nolik, are you ready? But we're not. There's no escaping our fate, colleague. Our time has come. <laughs> In order to become a detective or an investigator, you need to be very attentive and astute. Because detectives solve mysteries, find missing things, and detangle the most twisted cases. For instance, who ate the whole cake without permission? A real detective will notice the minor details right away. Crumbs under the sofa, a trail of paw prints across the room. By following the clues, a real detective will easily discover the thief. All right. It's time for us to figure out who stole the screwdriver. And the screwdriver, don't we need to find it? Not now. First, let's find the thief. Oh, look at that. It's Digit. Digit? Huh? Why are you back at the laboratory? Our school classes are over. I want to talk to the professor. I came up with the coolest thing to make. What cool thing? It's a secret. That's a bit hard to believe. All right now, suspect. What were you doing after school? What do you mean, suspect? There must be some mix-up here. You're trying to dodge the question? You want to change the subject on me? That's it. I'm leaving. No screwdriver, no experiments. Whoa. You want to take over for you, genius, and that's why you stole his lucky screwdriver. You're under arrest. The main qualities of a detective are intelligence and logic. Logic is an ancient science that teaches people to think with reason, to help them solve problems, puzzles, and riddles. Do you want to feel what it's like to be a real detective? Then try to figure out what I'm describing to you. I'm thinking of an animal that you can meet at home or on the street. It has a tail and it's long. You have any guesses? A dog, a cat, or a mouse? Uh-huh, there's not enough information yet. But what if I add that it meows and sleeps all day long? Then the answer is clear. A detective works the same way. He collects the facts, decides what's important, gets rid of what's not, and only then figures out the right answer. Understand? Then you're ready for another puzzle. Tell me, who doesn't belong here? Are you gonna talk? <laughs> <laughs> what funny mustaches you got there. Oh, it's a party, right? Mm-hmm. They arrested me. Is this a game you're playing? <laughs> You believe that a lucky object can bring good fortune, now don't you? Well, yeah. And what? Now it's clear. You helped Digit steal Eugenius's lucky screwdriver. Yeah, because you like lucky stuff. Arrest her. Tula, how long do I have to wait? Sibka, you gotta see this. We caught the criminals who stole the screwdriver from the professor. Cool, huh? Just awesome. Let's go, Tula. She stays here, under arrest. Yeah, I got it. Come on, let's go. We're not joking around. Oh, and exactly what proof do you have? What proof do I have? Well, uh... Just what I thought. You have nothing, Fire. She's their partner, of course. Nolik, arrest her at once. What did she do wrong? It's insane. 
Now do what I said. I won't do it. Ah, you're with them. Stand with the crooks over there. Hey, we're partners, aren't we? Now wait a second. I'm wondering if you were the thief. Me? Yes. Right. It's not me, I swear. I'm a detective. Ah, Nolik, please tell him. You put it away? In the warehouse? Oh, Elisa, I've told you a hundred times. Please, don't touch my mess. Uh, appears I was a bit off track. You'd have been better off looking for the screwdriver, detectives. That's what I told you. All right, we'll look for a new tactic to use on our next case. What do you mean on your next case? Where's my lucky soldering iron? So, Detective Nolik, shall we begin? <laughs> Musical notes. Yeah! No! Yeah! No! Yeah! No! Hey, what a thoughtful conversation you're having there. Been going on for a while? Yeah! No! Simka, please tell Nolik what this is. A present, right? Uh-huh. From Katya. And it's got a secret code right here, you see? <laughs> There's no secret on there. They're just notes. Musical notes. Ha! See? I told you. Those squiggles could have been music. I don't believe you. Come on, two people said the very same thing. Simka is not a people. She's a fixie. Anyway, there are two of us. You're ganging up on me. We're not ganging up on you, Nolik. Music is something you can play or listen to with your ears. But that's not all. You can also write it down. When we want to write down words, we use letters. And if we want to write down music, we use special symbols called musical notes. There are seven notes. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, and ti. The higher the sound, the higher the note sits on a set of five horizontal lines called a musical staff. Notes that look like this last longer, and notes like this are short, quick notes. Thanks to sheet music, people can read music like reading a book and then sing or play it. Until I hear you play me what you say is there, I won't believe you. On what? You know that we don't have any instruments. Try using spoons to play it. You think you're being funny? Hey, stop arguing. I know how we can play this song. We can use water. Water? <laughs> Let me get this straight. Are you trying to play the music, or are you trying to wash it? That's right. Pour it in there, Tom Thomas. Some more. Hear how the sound changes? Uh-huh. Stop! Now, start pouring water in this next glass until you hear the note called T. Stop! You got it! Now pour here? Yeah. We still have one note left. And what do I do if my mom comes home? What do I say I'm doing? That you're learning to play music while you're washing the dishes. That's it. That's the high dough. Now we have all the notes we need. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, and do. Class. Go on, Tom Thomas, play. How about we all play it together? Musical sounds can be produced in a variety of different ways. Violins and cellos are played with a bow. When the bow is rubbed against the string, the string vibrates like it's shivering, and that produces a beautiful sound. A guitar also has strings, but they make sound when they are plucked. And inside a piano are special hammers that hit the strings when the piano player presses down on the keys. Instruments like trumpets, trombones, flutes, and pipes make sound when air is blown through them. That's why they call them wind instruments. There are even instruments that make sound when they are rubbed by a wet finger. Try wetting your finger and carefully moving it around the rim of a wine glass. With a little bit of practice, you'll hear a lovely sound. Well, are you two ready? Yeah! yeah. Great! All together now! I know Happy this! Happy birthday! 
to you. Happy birthday, Tom Thomas. Happy birthday to, to me. Tom Thomas, we also wish you a happy birthday. You see, Nolik, and you didn't believe that this was music. But I was the first to guess what song it is. Hey, thanks so much for helping me figure out Katya's present. And how about sending a song to Katya? Yeah. We can write down the musical notes to a song about the Fixies. The Fixies? We can't. We can't write down the words. But if it's just the notes there, then it's no problem. Hooray! Want to play it? Of course we do. The Masquerade. So, Tom Thomas, did you choose a costume for the New Year's party? Not yet. These are no good. I've been a pirate. How about a vampire? Did that. And a knight? Mm-hmm. This year, I... I want to do something that's original. And what if... I know what! You can go dress as me! As Nolik! Perfect! No one's ever gone as a fixie. Ever! Long, long ago, people would put on masks and dance in order to scare away evil spirits. In ancient theater, actors would change masks to play a few different roles. Everyone liked the idea of hiding their faces behind mysterious masks so much that people started organizing fun outdoor festivals called masquerades. There are countries around the world, like Brazil and Italy, that turn into one big masquerade ball during the holidays. Hey there, what are you making? A costume for a masquerade! Can you guess who I'm going as? Yeah, but why does it have to be Nolik? Because I came up with it! Fire'd be a much cooler costume! <laughs> That's not true! Stop arguing! I can go dress up as you and you! Now we're talking! <clears throat> Smart fixies wear glasses. <laughs> Your glasses are too small to even fit on his finger. They don't make glasses just like yours. What a cute fixie. Splendid. Not bad. Only if I were you, I'd add a backpack to your costume. Any fixie who's fashionable is wearing it. And maybe add my curls to it, please? Uh... If you don't, then our feelings will be hurt. Class! Did we cover everybody? Oh! We didn't include Simka! <gasps> and where are we going to find room for her? What can I do about it? I already got to get going. Then let's just not tell her. See you later, Tom Thomas. Thanks, guys. Tish! What have you been doing all this time while I was busy loading up the confetti? Uh, we were doing our homework. And looking at this magazine? And talking? Yeah, all of that and more. <laughs> That's got to be the worst lying ever. Tell me what you're hiding. Have you lost your mind? Sorry, but there was absolutely no room left on Tom Thomas. That's not what I'm talking about. What is the number one rule for fixies? Well, what did we promise? We, we won't, won't let out our secret. secret. Right, but you just let it out. Now everyone will know. Tom Thomas wouldn't tell anyone about us. I hope he doesn't. Well, maybe. Everyone will figure that he's dressed up like some nutty candy. What kind of nutty candy has a backpack on and glasses? We're in real trouble. I thought the glasses looked sharp. So what are we going to do now? Call the professor, right? Or we should call Grampus or Papus. Ah! Don't panic. Let's wait till Tom Thomas gets back. There are many different types of masks, and some of them are very important. Medical masks are used by both doctors and sick people to reduce the spread of illnesses. Oxygen masks help people breathe. Fencers, hockey goalies, and boxers all use masks to protect their faces from being hit. 
The blue glass in a welder's mask is used to protect their eyes from dangerously bright light. Sea divers wear masks for swimming underwater. Without a mask, it would be very difficult to see the beauty of the underwater world. The masks that people wear at carnivals and parties? Well, they're just for having fun and putting everyone in a good mood. Or as a disguise, so that no one recognizes you right away. It can be a lot of fun to fool somebody like that. So how was it? It was great! They had a contest for costumes, and I won! Hooray, that's all. Say bye to us. <sighs> I hope you won't be upset, guys. But I couldn't tell anyone that I was a fixie. Here's all I could think of. Grand prize for best costume, robotic toucan! Hey, come on! Do you think we look like toucans? Yeah? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> all right there, fixie toucans. We've got work to do. Happy New Year! <laughs> the movie. He fakes left. He shoots. Ha! Class! And can you do it backwards? Yeah, sure. Uh, no way! What a shot! Huh. I wish Simka could see this. Why don't we make a movie for Simka about fire? We can use my fixie tub. It's got a camera. How come it's only for Simka? We'll make it for all of us. That's a great idea. I'll shoot the ball at the basket, and Nolik will do the filming. And what do we do? You can be whatever you want, like cheerleaders or the coaches. Yeah, a cheerleader. Help me in. Motion pictures, or movies, appeared more than 100 years ago after the invention of celluloid film. A movie is made up of a series of still photographs called frames. When you look at the frames quickly, one after another, the picture on the screen appears to move. It's hard to believe, but the first viewers got very scared when they saw a moving train on the screen. <laughs> at first, films were silent. Only later did people learn to make them with sound. And soon after that, people learned to make movies in full, beautiful color. Movies aren't shot on film anymore. They're made with digital cameras. Today, almost all phones and tablets come with digital cameras inside of them. This makes it easy for just about anybody to make their own movie and share it with their friends. Fire is the best. Ooh, he can shoot the best. Hey, I haven't turned the camera on yet. Get ready. Here we go. Yep. Fire is the best. Cut. I got it. Show me. Yep. Fire is the best. And where's the ball? It flew over there. That's not right. You have to see the ball flying in the picture. I got it. Get ready. Uh. Fire is the best. How was that? It worked. I got it. And where am I? You're somewhere over there. And we aren't there. Why did you have us cheering? Nolik, you need to make sure we're all in the shot. Okay, I'll try. How about I shoot the ball and Fire films it? No, no, like It's better if Fire takes the shots and you do the filming. Fire can't even hit the basket. You try to hit the basket when everybody's bothering you. Oh, so it's our fault, hmm? Why don't you learn how to play? Are you fighting again? <laughs> We're shooting a film. Whoa! Can I see it? There's nothing for you to see. All I have is pieces. And not one is right. Don't worry. It's no problem. All it needs is editing. What does it need? <laughs> Movies are not usually shot all at once, just a piece at a time. And each of these pieces can be shot several times with the camera in different places. Then there's plenty to choose from. After 
you're done shooting, you can take all of the best shots and put them one after another to make your movie. This process is called editing. Editing allows us to make movies that show things that could be impossible to shoot all at once. Well, let's see. For this first shot, we've got this cake over here. For the ball going in, we've got this one. And I like this one of me shooting. And don't forget to put in me and Tula. Of course not. So here's what we've got. Fire in the best footage. The film is super. Can I try to edit it? Yeah, go ahead. Now we have something to show to our teacher. And Digit, too. <laughs> and Papus and Masia. Look, I did my own editing in the movie. What was that? That's not true. It is so, with editing. It's just not fair, Nolik. Fire was able to put it in a hundred times without any editing. You sure didn't. Hey, guys, don't fight. Do you want me to teach you all the right way to shoot hoops? Yeah! yeah. All right, here we go. And shoot! Fire is the best! Oh, he can shoot the best! <laughs> Buttered bread. Tom Thomas, it's not right to eat when you're playing a game. I know your mom told you that. Come on, stop distracting me. Oh, no! That's the game. Now that's what you call Murphy's Law, Nolik. <laughs> no, that's the law of buttered bread. The law of buttered bread. <laughs> There's no way that's a real law. People say that bread always lands butter side down. Scientists laugh at that, but there is a grain of truth in it. First of all, a sandwich usually falls from the low height of a table, and so it only has time to make a half turn. Second, the side of the bread with the butter is heavier, and that pulls it towards the ground. And third, people remember the bad things that happened to them. So, they believe that butter bread always lands the wrong way. That's just goofy. I don't believe in that law. It's true, and not just for buttered bread, but any open-faced sandwich. Then let's do an experiment. We got tons of food in here. We just cover some bread with it, and then throw it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Dinesh! Well, jelly side down. Uh-huh, and the cheese went down. And the chocolate spreads out of luck, too. The bologna didn't do any better. Do you believe me now? Not yet. Let's keep going. We should try some other methods of throwing. Oh, that's everything. There's nothing left. No, there's still some turkey. Where did you see that? Here it is. Take some from this plate instead. Your mom already cooked it. Hey, turkey. Show them how you're supposed to fall. Aha! Didn't I, uh, tell ya? You vandals! Why are you throwing food all over the place? It's simply awful. Hey, give it back! Please, we're testing the law of buttered bread. You gotta be kidding. Your mom is gonna love you for that. Can you please put the sandwich on a plate already? It's too heavy for us to keep holding it up. Good. There you go. Tom Thomas, do you have any idea at all how nutritious that turkey is? And delicious, I'd imagine. And turkey's a healthy food that has lots of protein, vitamins, and what do you call them? Micro elements. That's not all. Eating that turkey could make you grow. If you eat that sandwich, you could grow a centimeter. I think that's true. Yeah, and it'll give you some extra strength, which you're gonna need when you clean up your kitchen. <laughs> Humans eat food not only to make them strong, but also to grow and develop. 
take a look at all these different foods. Do you think they have anything at all in common? Well, actually, they do. All foods contain nutrients like proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Combining them properly is the science of nutrition. Foods with fats and carbohydrates give humans energy, while those with protein are essential for helping children grow. People love to eat food that is delicious, fresh, and assorted. Try to eat all sorts of good foods like salads and soups, cereals, potatoes, vegetables, and meats, and not just sandwiches. But when it's time for a little snack, a sandwich can be just right. And it's so easy to make. What happened to all of our bread? There's only one slice left. I made an experiment. A real one. I see. Well. Science requires sacrifice. And there's no doubt that scientific experience is way better than playing with the phone all day, right? Mm-hmm. Can I have another piece of turkey? I don't know why, but I'm really hungry today. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's what I call Murphy's Law. No! That's what they call the law of buttered bread, Dad. Did you hear? The law is a law. Beauty. See that? I'm just uh, training for school. You're the one that's doing all these twists and turns for fire. Hmm, me? It never even crossed my mind. No, like slow down. <sighs> Tula, why don't we go and play some chess? Don't you think that figure skating's beautiful? Turn me. Uh. How cool! <laughs> oh, why did you yell like that? I just got a pair of tickets to see the one and only Vector. <gasps> Splendid! And who's going with you? Actually, I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. What's there to think about? Just invite the most beautiful girl in our school, right? Yeah, not a bad idea, my friend. Did you hear that? The most beautiful one will get invited. Well, I'm not even interested. And you know what? Neither am I. is full of beauty. There seems to be no end to the beautiful plants and animals and the gorgeous mountains, forests, and lakes. But even that's not enough for people. They create their own handmade beauty, too. Artists paint beautiful pictures. Composers write beautiful music. Architects create beautiful buildings. And fashion designers make beautiful clothes. Not even scientists stay out of it. They create beautiful ideas. These ideas can be the basis for the creation of new technologies that make people's lives better. Everyone has their own idea of what's beautiful. There are as many opinions as there are people. But everyone tries in their own way to be beautiful. Both people and fixies. Please help me, Tula. How can I become beautiful? Huh. I don't know. Go and ask Verda. Look at her. She's got it. What has she got? What's the most beautiful thing about her? Oh, well, her hairpin, her hairstyle. The green looks great on her. Green looks great. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, see you later. Hmm? Tula. Huh? What's your opinion? Fire, do you think he likes Simka? Looks like he does. Is it because she's a redhead? Orange? Hmm, now I get it. Well, is that close to her color? Not really. It needs more green. What 
makes a person really beautiful. Fancy clothing, bright nail polish, dyed hair, those don't make you look your best. Here's a much more reliable recipe. First, wash off and comb your hair. See, you're looking more beautiful already. Now change those dirty and wrinkly clothes for clean ones. Huh? That's even more beautiful. And finally, if you eat less sweets and get plenty of exercise, then you'll surely become a handsome boy <laughs> or a gorgeous girl. Fire? What's up? Do you think you could get an autograph from Vector for me? You got it. I love his song so much. So do I. Especially that one that goes... Computer, 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 you are super. I play my computer and turn it up real loud. I play it all morning, all day, and through the nighttime. But no, 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 that's not allowed. <laughs> I had no idea you were such a fanatic. You know, I'm not going to get you his autograph. Why won't you? Because you'll get it yourself. You know what I got? An extra ticket. <gasps> I thought you were going to take the most beautiful girl. All of you are beautiful, and you're the most fun to be around. Let's go. Stop! Hang on! Oh, Simka? Or is it Verda? Where are you going? What do you mean, where? To the concert. <gasps> mm. <gasps> mm. Verda? No, Simka. Or vice versa. I'm so confused. Come on, Tula. Can't you recognize them? This one's Simka, that one's Verda. Let's go, or we'll be late. Hmm. Blondes are always the lucky ones. Yeah. I guess we should have made our hair blonde like Tula's. The virus. Tom Thomas! Pass him on the turn! Good job! You're almost there! Now put the pedal to the metal! Johnny, you lose. You want to race him again? We can. We just finished the last level. Oh, we were just getting started. Wait a second. Let's see what it says here. Congratulations. Your prize is a smartphone and a collection of brand new levels to race. All right. Class, click on it. It's not smart to just click on random buttons. Hmm. There's nothing to worry about. Whoa. Hey, what's going on? Someone messed with the numbers. There you go. Didn't I warn you guys? Do you think it might have been Johnny? Johnny! Of course! He got upset that we won, so he put on the cap of invisibility. Then he snuck into the room and deleted everything from the computer. Stop! What are you talking about? A cap of invisibility. This has nothing to do with Johnny at all. Looks like you got a virus. Then we need to get Tom Thomas's mom in here. What for? Isn't it obvious? She's a doctor. She'll get rid of this virus in no time. That won't work. Quit it. A computer with a virus isn't treated like that. A doctor won't be able to help here, especially a dentist like your mother. Then who can help us? You need special software for that. Antivirus! A computer virus is a destructive computer program. It can not only delete or steal important information, but completely destroy your computer. And the scariest thing about this virus is that it spreads very quickly and can infect the other computers on the network. Very much like a human illness. To find and stop these viruses, you need to use an antivirus program. Antivirus programs also protect computers against new infections. And by the way, your dad's computer uses antivirus software. And mine doesn't have it? No, you won't let anyone near your computer. You never have any time. Dad, let's do it later, okay? I've got to finish one more round. It'll only take a minute. Oh, look at that. The virus is starting to wipe out everything now. That means this computer will disappear. And this room, too. And, and all of us. Stop, stop. Quit panicking. We have to save the computer right away. 
Tom Thomas, your dad has a box with antivirus software. Bring it! Games, music, cartoons. There are so many interesting things on the internet, but just like in the physical world, you have to follow some rules when you're online. First, you should only visit websites that you know. Sometimes a destructive virus could be hiding behind a pretty picture, and there are plenty of scammers on the internet. That's why you should never give anybody you don't know well your address or send an SMS so you can download a free game. If you happen to get a letter or a text from a stranger, you should show it to your parents right away. Only communicate with people that you know. And don't just sit all day playing on the internet. There's still nothing better than going outside and playing with friends in the fresh air. Software. How come? There's no need. No, we have to. That program should only be installed by an adult. Otherwise, your parents will figure out you got help from Fixies. Sorry about that. All done. And here comes my dad. Dad, will you install this on my computer, please? You need it right away? How about a bit later? No, we can't keep putting it off. There you go. Now your computer is protected. How come you became so responsible all of a sudden? Oh, Dad. You don't know what kind of viruses are out there roaming the net. You're so right. The construction set. Tom Thomas. Huh? Why are you sitting in the dark? Because it looks better this way. Check it out. Oh, oh look at that. What a beautiful castle this is. It's like out of a fairy tale. No, it's from my construction set. I put it together myself. Class. Oh, let's be knights. I love that game. And so does the old dragon. Lock the fair princess inside of the castle. I get to be the princess. <laughs> Look like a knight. You don't even have armor. Armor. Wait, hang on a second. A construction set lets you build lots of different things from a set of parts. Put them together like this, you've got a house. Like this, a car. Or like this, a spaceship. The parts might be made of metal and connected with screws. Some construction sets have plastic parts you click together. Other sets are models where the pieces are glued together. You can also find magnetic sets. Touch the parts together and magnetic attraction makes them stick. Beware, dragon! Oh, save me! Oh, help me! Hmm, where's that knight already? And where's the castle? The planet has been attacked by robots! And they have destroyed the castle! And they've kidnapped me! And are you still a princess? Of course I'm still a princess! Oh, save me, brave knight! Right! <laughs> What's going on? This is a magnetic construction set, and your armor is made out of metal, so you got attracted to the magnets! <laughs> Tom Thomas, it's not fair! Unattract me! <laughs> okay... Oh, rescue me! Help me! You gotta save me! Hang in there! I'll be right back! I gotta change my costume!
thing. A wicked wizard has trapped me inside of a crystal ball. And now only a brave knight. I already did the knight. Well, you gotta be him one more time. All right, but this is the last time. And don't change anything. Simka, stay right there. And don't even think about running away. And so it goes. Everyone's abandoned the poor princess. Oh. Simka's my older sister. That's why she thinks it's okay to get bossy with me. But I don't let it get to me, because she's very smart and a quick thinker. She knows gadgets better than just about anybody. It's always interesting with Simka. And she's really smart, too. She gets nothing but A's at school. Everyone in our class loves her. Only she and Verda don't get along too well. It's because of fire. Well, you get it. Sometimes Simka can be way too strict with me. You can't do this. You shouldn't do that. But if an exciting adventure comes along, she's always right there with us. Simka's brave. She's got the skills. Yeah, she's always ready to take on a challenge. I've got an awesome sister. But just keep that between us. Because if you tell her, it might go to her head. How long am I supposed to sit here? Hey, anyone? Hey! Oh! Help me! Saka, you give that back. Leave, leave this room. Are you okay? I can't leave you alone for a minute. Yeah, I think we're okay. Nola got here and saved me from Chusaka for real. Just like a real live knight. Oh, come on, pretty knight. I'm not kidding. You deserve to be one. And to protect every living creature from pesky Chusakas everywhere. I promise. <laughs> to be a knight, Sir Nola. Hooray, hooray, hooray! Kitty! The Time Machine. Oh, wow! What kind of device is that? Maybe an alarm clock? No, this is a time machine. Beep, 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 beep. Time machines, they don't exist. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what a shame. I learned you, that, you, you, studied you, that. You, you, well you, done, Tula. You, 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 oh. Oh. What did I just bump into? What do you mean, what? Into a time machine. But I thought time machines aren't for real. Of course they are. You get in and take off for the future. Or the past. Splendid. Lots of us would love to be able to travel in a time machine. Maybe to go back in time and fix a bad grade. Or to get a peek into the future. Of course it would be interesting. But time travel isn't possible. And thank goodness! Just imagine how mixed up everything could get. Someone brings back a dinosaur from the past, while someone else brings aliens from the future. No one would need to invent anything. Appliances would sit unused. And fixies would have no work to do. It's awful! So you've got no idea of the answer. I studied this, but I don't remember. Too bad, because tomorrow we've got a hard test. Make sure you're prepared. I'm sure I'm gonna fail. You're gonna pass? You studied all of this, right? So? So you just need to stop worrying so much, that's all. I wish I could. <laughs> Poor girl. How can we help her? Hey, I know how. This morning, Tula believed that that thing over there is a real time machine. Sounds like an anti-scientific plan. Stop worrying. It's simple. We'll send you to tomorrow. You'll sit down, take the test, and come right back here. I wish I could go. It's like a dress rehearsal. The main thing's not to worry. Then what do I do? Uh, you just pull on that wire and you'll get them back. Well, time to go. Wow, it's tomorrow. Hi there. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Grandpus got sick, so I'll be giving you your tests. I'm scared. Don't worry. It's just a rehearsal. 
Well then, who had the best test? Congratulations, Tula! Oh, so cool! Awesome! That wasn't scary at all. Impressive. By the way, what's wrong with the professor? Uh, Grandpus! Uh, you know, don't you? A bolt fell on his head. You dropped it, remember? I did? Yeah, yesterday. I'm not sure I like this future. Well, how did it go there? Later. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. Oh! Leave this on until tomorrow. What is this? Come back! No! If I do, I could hurt you! Me? What for? Wouldn't it be incredible to travel into the future and see what you will become? Unfortunately, that's only possible in our dreams. But if you have a dream and aren't afraid of challenges and setbacks, your future can turn out just the way you imagined. Do you want to become a champion? Then you need to start your training right away! Do you dream of becoming the best programmer in the world? Then first pull up that grade in math class! Do you dream of sailing the oceans? Then you'll need to do a lot of reading because a captain has so much he needs to learn. Start creating your future right now. And we Fixies will be right there to help you, making sure the machines you need to reach your dreams will keep on working for years and years to come. Hey there, are you ready? Uh-huh. So far, everything's exactly the same. Tula, take this, please. It worked. And pass out the tests. You may begin. These questions are different. Who had the best test? Congratulations, Tula! What am I worried about? I know everything is going to be fine. Tish! Oh, uh, well then. All of your test results are great. <sighs> Only none of you could guess what this device is. What do you mean? Isn't it a time machine? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's for <laughs> automatically watering plants, that's all. You see? Right? Wow, it's fantastic. So hang on. You guys tricked me? But you passed the test, right? Well, all right. Then I forgive you. <laughs> Concrete. When will you be back from your fishing trip? Before dinner. So you won't have time to hang up the mirror again? Hmm. If it's not one thing, it's another. Um, we were just planning to hang it right now. Uh, it'll only take us two minutes, and then we'll go fishing. Fuckers! Huh? What do you want, Nolik? When am I gonna go on a fishing trip with you? You know fixies don't go fishing. But you promised me that today we would go and visit the aquarium. I was only planning on going there to clean it. So let's go fishing while we're at it. We'll pretend. Poppers, please. Okay, Nolik. But we'll just pretend to. Hooray! You're the best poppers ever! Nah, those won't work. Why won't they? Because our walls are concrete. They're much too hard for nails. See that? It's gonna need to be drilled. I guess we'll need to use a special drill bit that's right for this wall. Concrete is a very strong building material made out of small stones, sand, cement, and water. When the concrete mixture dries, it becomes very hard, like a solid piece of rock. For building houses, bridges, and other large constructions, reinforced concrete is what people use. To reinforce the concrete, it is poured into a mold with steel bars. When you drill into a reinforced concrete wall, you have to be careful not to hit the metal bars. Poppers! Shh, humans. Mm-mm, not big enough. It won't hold up this mirror. But it's all we've got. <sighs> so we'll have to go and buy another. That stinks. Means there's no time to go fishing now. Actually... I think this will hold it for a little while. That looks great. So, ready? Papoose! Huh? Do 
we own fishing rods? We don't, but we'll figure it out. I really don't like how that mirror's hanging. That's what happens when people are in a rush to finish. We're fixies. We never do things like that. Papoose, we going fishing or not? Yes, we will. After we take care of this mirror. In ancient Rome, volcanoes helped make concrete. After they erupted, people would mix the volcanic ash with stones, lime, and sand. This concrete was used in many of the famous buildings constructed in that time. For instance, the Pantheon with its concrete dome. And this one is the famous Colosseum. It was also made with concrete. The Colosseum is almost 2,000 years old, but it's still standing strong. Later, when that land was conquered by other nations, people forgot about concrete and how to make it. Thank goodness that 200 years ago, they suddenly realized what a great material it is, and they reinvented concrete. It's true when they say, all oh, everything new is well forgotten old. Papoose, hurry up! Haste is the mother <clears throat> of imperfection. Hmm, it looks like I ran out of wire. Mm, lousy timing. I've got to get to the warehouse. Warehouse? That means we're not going fishing. No, Lick. A promise is a promise, and that means we go. Eh, this should hold for a little while. <laughs> it's funny. We almost left without the fishing rods. Don't panic. We did a good job of anchoring. Remember what I said? Haste is the... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not hearing things. Looks like a trip to the store after all. For screws? Yeah, and a brand new mirror. It looks like today's fishing trip's canceled. And ours is too, Nolik. At least the fish will be happy.